So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all of our Divine Feminines, all right? So all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine, hunty, you can go ahead and get that because this reading right now is not for you, okay? <laughs> this reading right now is not for you, sir. Go ahead and get that. We'll see you later. Let us go ahead and see what the messages are this spirit has here for you on today. Happy holidays, everyone. It's getting closer and closer, you guys. All right, let us see. <laughs> let us see what the messages are. Let me put some lotion on these here. Hands, though, right quick. Bear with your girl. <laughs> Bear with your girl. All right. Somebody put a time stamp as to where we begin, please, if you do not mind. I appreciate you. It's just one, one, one on a time stamp. Just know you shall be blessed. Okay. Amen. Those who refresh others shall themselves be refreshed. Right. They themselves shall be refreshed. Amen. Amen. So we have the thinking woman all tied up. Okay, get out of your mind. Get out of your mind for a minute. What are you in your mind about? Hmm, success, victory. All right, you have to trust spirit, trust your intuition. As soon as I say trust your intuition, stick chakra, okay? Trust your intuition. Trust what it is this spirit is telling you. They want you to be still. Yes, that's what they want they want you to be still they want for you to listen to what it is that god has to say all right that means taking your time not rushing we have man holding a coin there's someone that wants to make an offer to you or they already have made this offer this person could have already proposed you don't know what to make of this offer that this person has made so you're just like well i don't know what to do with that you know what i mean like you spirit is like trust what you're feeling trust what i'm saying because spirit is speaking but you're not able to hear or you're hearing it and you're just not deciphering the message clearly all right but you have to trust what you feel second chakra trust what you feel in your gut i feel like that was just an ugly shuffle but let us see we have strategy we have fifth chakra i feel like someone is planning what they want to say to you Okay, they're planning what they want to say to you or how they want to go about saying it or doing it. You know what I mean? Like all the above, basically. Can't even get the words out. Exactly. That's probably how they feel. Spirit is like, just speak from the heart. It's something here about envy, though. There could have been someone that was trying to stand in the way of this connection. Someone that knows that this is about to happen. Someone maybe they've confided in about this or something like that. We have goddess of the moon here. So it's always about your intuition and trust what it is that you intuitively feel to be so. Okay. As opposed to, yeah, see indecision here. Mm -hmm. Yin yang, you and this person are complimentary halves. This is your divine counterpart. But like you've had your heart broken either before somewhere else or by this person. So again, what you're focused on, your money. What they're focused on, you. Okay. So a lot of you are on this personal healing journey. All right. Well, you're focused on your own happiness, your own success and prosperity, different things like that. Like how to stabilize yourself and do what you have to do for you. You're getting as close to spirit as possible. All right. Again, building a relationship there. I feel like you really need to, again, just be still. And say, well, what do you mean by that blue? Literally what it sounds like. Find the time to not do anything. So if that means, you know, on your 15 minute break or your 30 minute or hour, however long your lunch is, you're just sitting in the car. Or if there's a nice area by your job or where you work, you could just sit there. All right. I remember I used to work this um, at this building and there was like a water outside. OK, they had little waterfalls and all that going on, all the water sprouts and all that. So it was really nice and relaxing. And I just used to sit over there by that, you know, and meditate. 
So it was very helpful. It charged the batteries up. You get what I'm saying? Charged the crystals as well. All right, help cleanse my mind. All right, open my third eye. Yeah, see, third eye. All right, helps you choose wisely. Yeah, exactly. See, so I can't get the words out right now. It may be coming out kind of choppy, but that's because I'm channeling for your masculines, and right now they're trying to find the words. So it may come out a little choppy. All right, also we have Mercury retrograde. So just bear with your girl. All right, that is my ruler. All right, let's see. We have firm foundation. This is going to be a solid relationship, a solid connection, a solid relationship. I already said that. Why do a solid relationship, y'all? All right. So obviously that word needed to be emphasized. Like I'm not understanding why, y'all. And I'm leaving that right in there because that was ridiculous. You heard? It? So we have disruption and we have authority. This is the emperor. All right. The masculine here. They're also a little bit. I don't want to say confused, but they may be mm, wondering what's taking you so long to make a decision. Okay, so again, a lot of you have already gotten this offer. That part's not going to resonate with everybody. But let us see. Yeah, we have heartache and loss here. So where they feel they've made an offer, some of you are thinking, where is the offer? You know, like, it's really weird, interesting energy. Okay, so what, what would be the word for that? Um, hmm. It's like not coming to mind right now. You guys put the word in the comments, please. What is the word for that? Okay. Anyway, they got me repeating stuff two or three and four times, child. This is a lot. Your person is trying to figure out what to say, but it's like the pain is taking over. They felt pain in the past. You felt pain in the past. Again, could have been from other people, also from each other. However, the pain that you felt from each other is more along the lines of because you're not with each other as opposed to the pain that you have actually caused to each other. It's really interesting how it's coming out. Like, <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's like you felt pain in this situation, but not because, oh, you intentionally did something to hurt the other person, but maybe because you don't get to see them or you don't get to, it's something like that going on here, okay? And for them, it's like because maybe they don't get to have you and uh, you guys are wanting the same thing. And again, we saw a throat chakra here twice, so both parties are just not communicating, okay? So perhaps that's why the communication is coming out so terribly. We have temptation, all right, and we have shadow. So this could be somebody with Capricorn and Cancerian placements on their chart, all right. They may sometimes get distracted. In the past, they could have looked at this as a distraction, and now they're seeing it as something that ignites them and something that brings them some sort of balance. Okay, they're looking at it different now than how they were looking at it before. But there's a brand new beginning, okay, or a renewal. Yeah, see, but in order for that to happen, something else must end so that means that there needs to be a conversation it doesn't mean that you may have something you need to end or they may have something they need to end but it could be that but overall just having this conversation and kind of addressing the elephant in the room if you will okay and remember i said 111 earlier look we got base chakra we have balance again we saw envy earlier here's envy there's someone who's trying to prevent this from happening Okay, and we're going to have to look deeper into what that's about because it's been here twice. So we can't just ignore it, y'all. Okay, if I ignore it, then that's like something go on. You have no idea what's going on. Lou saw it, but she didn't say nothing. Nah, I can't do that. So what I see? <laughs> can't do that one. All right. Yeah, see that? The alarm. Exactly. Nope. I don't want to alarm you. However, there is a reason why. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, we have prosperity begins. All right. So ace of pentacles, ace of pentacles twice. All right. Yeah. See positive movement forward. This is still happening regardless of who was doing what your spirit is really strong. Someone could have sent you some sort of energy to block this union. 
from happening. But your spirit is so strong or your spirit guides are so powerful that like whatever this person was trying to do, they don't get to do. All right, we have solar plexus chakra here yet, and then see this yellow ring too. You're really powerful. You're really connected to spirit. So we're going to have to see who or what this is. Okay, but I understand, you know, everybody's relationship with whomever is different. Like, you could have two people, right? And their relationship is one way. They break up. One of them goes on to have another relationship with someone else. That relationship may be completely different because it's two different people now. You know what I'm saying? You grew or you evolved, obviously, I would hope. You know, the relationship should have taught you something, all right? Life should have taught you something in that amount of time you were in that relationship. And you apply those things in your next relationship, right? I would hope, again, and then, you know, so forth and so on. But the way that the other person was like those two people could be completely different personality types, which means they react different to things or they handle day to day life situations um, different. OK, in a different way. All right. So the relationships are just different. The chemistry, I mean, is different. All right. So, hmm. It's something is something like someone is upset because someone is moving on and maybe they don't want them to move on. Is what I'm getting here. You know what I mean? All right. So let us keep it pushing. Let us see. We're going to look into this later and put this to the side. Okay. Remind me. <laughs> I say, like, y'all going to let me know. <laughs> All right. Let us see. You guys. Yeah. Someone is trying to attack your energy. All right, we have commitment because this person they're hoping and praying like for you to return. So in the event that you do return, it's some other people that they're going to deny. No issue, no problem. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, and so that causes people to send you certain energies. But let us see, what is this? Yeah, see, retaliation. Somebody is upset. Okay, because this person made themselves available for you. They were hoping and praying that you came back. Okay, you came back. And so they separated themselves from someone. And that person wants to retaliate. Okay. We have souls. Okay, yeah, so there could be a move. Like they could have literally broke it off with someone. Had to move and all of that. Okay, we have financial support, child, alimony, government. Okay, a lot of things going on here. But they didn't want to be... With that person okay so it's like they were stringing it along or something okay which is not good but tragedy you could have looked at something like it was forbidden because or even now because you're like wait no aren't you with someone but they're trying to send you telepathic communication like actually no we have on the table is offer proposal commitment love adore admire enchantment yeah no no i am not actually that's what they're saying. Okay. Some of them could just be waiting to see, like I said, what you're going to do. Or they're building up the nerve, building up the courage to be able to come towards you and say something. Or do something. But both. Like I said, anyway, moving forward. They got me talking real weird right now. Escapade, vacation, hideaway, adventure. Okay. Lockbox. Closed in, trapped, frustrated. Okay. Oh. All right. We have grip here, which is anchor chains, weighed down, nightlife, gamble, take a risk, and Vegas. Okay. So basically, the way it's looking is like this. Someone wants to retaliate now. With this here. This makes me feel like <sighs> like they could have paid someone to do something. You know 
Yeah, they could have paid someone to do something. Okay, like to harm you or to harm that person. And I don't like stuff like that, but that's what I just saw. Because in this card here, heartache and loss. This person is buried. And then with man holding a coin, someone is receiving a financial opportunity or a blessing. So like a job or a new client or some form of payment, a, you know, something like that, a bonus perhaps, you know, promotion, promotion. I said promotion, what the hell? Um, a promotion, several different things that could be going on. Okay, um, with that man holding a coin. But for me, it typically comes out as my engagement ring. But they just showed me a different way. So again, you never know who, you, who you're who you dealing with and what type of person, you know, you're connected or attached to until sometimes things like this happen. Then they show you who they really are. We've all seen shit like snapped and all that. You get what I'm saying? Um... Stuff like that is real. People are really crazy, you know? Instead of just being like, damn, you know, this person is miserable being with me. Maybe they just don't want to be with me. Or maybe they just want to be happy. People do the most. They do a lot, all right? So, yeah, we have Verge about to reveal, confess. This person, they have been doing everything in their power to protect you. Like, to move a certain way for a very specific reason. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, we have interview, talk, conversation, get on the same page. Entrapment. They feel trapped. They feel caught up in the situation because it's like now they're dealing with this person. That's just, that's who they're dealing with. You know what I mean? It's what they say for men and women, not just for the ladies. You have to be mindful of who you laying down with. You get what I'm saying? Not just for a good time, but what if that good time turns into a long time? Because what if a life is created? You get what I'm saying? And with pregnancy, money, and heartstrings, that's exactly what it is. When something starts off as lust, or see, like I said, the chemistry is different. It's a sexual chemistry. Simply having sexual chemistry and that's it is one thing. Having chemistry, period, like in addition to, you know what I mean? Whatever other kind of chemistry, yeah. So this person could be telling you in the very near future either why they disappeared or they could be coming towards you and out of nowhere from a, a fake profile or something because they're online searching for you. You could have cut them off because you don't want to deal with them. There's just a lot of energy coming out right now. So just bear with me as I pick up on everything that they have coming through. It's a lot. Yeah, we have children and then single. So there's a child here, okay, but they're single, done, see family blood ties. So it's something here like that. Like... They want to move on and just be happy with you. But this person that they had this situation with got some other stuff going on with them, you know, and like some mental stuff, okay? Some mental stuff that causes them to act like this, okay? And I've seen some things, been around some things, unfortunately. You get what I'm saying? And you just never know how people are, okay? You just don't until people show you, all right? So... That's one of those things. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Magician. This person feels like this is a destined connection. So they're going to do whatever they can to, like I said, protect you. All right. To show you that they're serious. Okay. But again, this is why the strategy is here. They have to find a way to put it together. They have to find a way to say what they want to say or what they need to say. All right. So let us see. All right, we have the lovers in reverse. Yeah, the nine of swords in reverse, the seven of swords. Again, there is someone here who's like, I know you're trying to move on to be with this person and balance your life. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that you can't do that. You know, but here's the sun card. This is answer prayers, divine favor, divine protection. All right, this is source energy. All right, with the moon in reverse, things are revealed. The queen of swords in reverse, somebody is bitter. This is a bitter woman. Okay, or man, but somebody is bitter because someone has been slowly but surely moving away from them and they know that. The Knight of Pentacles is the plan. So even if they have not already 
finalized this and moved away from this person eight of pentacles they've clearly been working on themselves or building themselves up as to where they're not as dependent on this third party as they once were they could have been dependent on them in a lot more ways and now they're reliant on themselves more and putting themselves in a certain position to be able to do certain things for themselves like they want to cut these ties with this person all right so yeah we have deception and envy And I feel like we already got what we needed to get, but yeah, we have the judgment card in reverse. The three of cups. Yeah, they don't have the best discernment. This person is is uh not mentally well. Yeah. Um, and they love this person. They love them a lot. And they're not mentally well. So it's like they'll do anything. You get what I'm saying? Anything, and I do mean anything, to keep this person. Okay, so that's why spirit is like, you have to be careful. I'm protecting you because this person is crazy. Okay. So we have engagement. See, they want to marry you. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. They didn't got involved with the crazy person. So you're like, are you down for this ride? Are you down for this ride? Because I know you the one, but um, are you going to want to deal with this? It says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay. attraction and new love okay so they see you looking good these days and they really want to know if you guys can have a fresh start i'm also picking up for some of you not for all of you like for some of you this person is really concerned because it's like you continue to look better and better with time um or with age so they're like oh my god you know if i'm looking at you like this i know other people are looking at you like this you know, are you dating anyone? Are you seeing anyone? That's what I'm hearing. All right. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. All right. A new person has stared your romantic feelings because they see you like, here's the thing, ladies, right? Like we get dressed up and dolled up for us, you know, but we put that extra detail into it sometimes for somebody that we care for. You know, we put that extra attention in. I know I do. I take it up a, a notch or three, you know, you know, extra detail, when it's someone I love present. So you may be putting that extra detail into it and they're noticing and they're like, wait a freaking minute. You get what I'm saying? Who the hell is, you know what I mean? So it might be one of those things. <laughs> All right. Um, for some of you, you're doing it for them. They may not realize. All right. We have heart to heart conversations. It says, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. All right. And flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So that's what's coming. A lot of flirting. All right. Them wanting to be really all up under you <laughs> it says i apologize for any pain that you may feel during this separation i will make up for this even if it's the last thing that i do Aww. all right let us see there are so many things i never got the chance to say i'm not quite sure there are words to match slash describe my feelings see they're trying to find the right words and they're not having the easiest time because it's so much to say based on what they're feeling and so much to say based on what is going on and they just want to clear the air and address some elephants that are in the room and so many other things and it just seems like it's a lot right and so sometimes they get a little bit frustrated but what did I say earlier say so it says I'm frustrated by the fact that I never get to see you all I want is to hold you close to me see all right this is what they're wanting and sometimes really frustrating however I don't know, this positive movement forward is a lot of travel going on in this reading. So they want to um, be in union with you, okay? So I feel like that's a sign. Yeah, wow. The signs that I'm getting from the universe let me know that our story is nowhere near complete. I said that's a sign. <laughs> I said, that's a sign. And we end off on that one. All right. But it says, I've spoken to those who are the closest to me. They know the truth. It's impossible to ever get enough of you. No matter how much I get, I can always go for seconds. All right. So if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair